Hey, my name's Sam. I'm the community garden coordinator here at the Charleston Parks Conservancy. And I'm just filming a quick video to show you all best practices for cleaning up the pathways and getting the garden looking aesthetically tidy and helping to keep the weed pressure down around our leased plots. So the first thing you're gonna to wanna to do is to gather the tools you'll need. Um, today, we're practicing a um, weed control tactic called sheet mulching. So for that, you'll need some cardboard, um, you'll also want pruners if you have any overgrowth exceeding the limits of your bed, uh, gloves if you're pulling weeds or hand tools to pull those with, and then um, we provide the wood chips at the garden, so use our wheelbarrows and tools for that, and a hard rake as well. So the very first thing you're going to want to do is pull up any weeds from directly around the edging of your bed. Um, this will stop them from growing into your bed. and. We'll add those to our garden debris pile. If you have any plant growth um, exceeding the limits of your bed, we'll trim that back too to add to our debris pile. And then this technique is really for um, plots that have become totally overgrown with uh, grass, as you can see. If you still have wood chips and just some weeds, you're fine to just weed those and put down another layer of wood chips. But if your pathway has become entirely grass, we are asking folks to sheet mulch to help um, prevent that grass from taking hold in the entire garden. So sheet mulching is really easy. You're just gonna lay down a layer of cardboard If your weed pressure is really, really intense, you can lay down two layers. Um, and then you'll come on through with your wood chips. And then go ahead and use a hard break. Spread it out and um, just add as much wood chips as you need to cover the cardboard. And this should help suppress the weeds uh, around your plot perimeters. Thank you.